Hello guys, I recently released a video about response macros or how to avoid repeating yourself in, for example, API controller. If you want to have response JSON with some kind of format, like for example, success true, turn turned all the time in all the responses. So success true here, success true here, and success true here, or something like that, or success false in case of an error. And in that video, I advise to use response macros in your app service provider like this. But people in the comments pointed another way, which is totally valid, and I wanted to show it in this video, and it is to use the controller, the base controller of Laravel. API controller, in this case user API controller, should extend the controller, which would have a method to return response with success true. First, generally, if you see the repeating pattern under don't repeat yourself dry principle, you should extract somewhere to some kind of function. So return response JSON with that result. Let's use PHP storm to refactor that. Choose extract method, return success, for example. You can do that manually, but I will just use PHP storm refactor. And we have our return success method here. It's cool that it returns JSON response. And instead of data, we should have a parameter of data. And this should be data here. And the data should be passed like this. So we already refactored that from the controller each method to a separate method, which is for now in the same controller. So we should use this return success here as well with user as a parameter like this and the same thing here and the data would be a bit different and let's see if we didn't break anything in the postman i have those requests prepared send still returns the user one or user list with success true all good so all we need to do now to reuse all of that code in any api controller is just cut it from here and paste it into controllers controller into here. And now let's see if we didn't break anything. Nope, it still works slash one returns. Okay. So now in your API controller, you just have return success, which is defined in the upper level in the base controller. And the benefit of that, it is clickable in the IDE. So it totally corresponds to the object oriented programming principle. So it should show you the parameters and the response if you hover over it. And if you click, you land in the actual feature. So it's a different approach to the macros that I've showed in the previous video. Macros is kind of Laravel magic, which is not auto completed in any way, but base controller is, and you may use that approach to standardize your responses from any other controller. If you want more tips about Laravel APIs, I have a separate course, or in fact, a few courses with API on my laraveldaily.teachable.com. So there's how to create Laravel API, and there's also Vue.js plus Laravel. So that also includes API, and in general, I have around 20 courses. So the best way to get that is to have yearly membership for $99 per year plus VAT, if that is applicable to you. So currently there's 19 courses. And in September, I will launch two more, two courses. I will work on Solid in Laravel course and Flutter with API again in Laravel. So if you want to get those courses first, subscribe to the yearly membership. The link is in the description below and see you guys in other videos.